Hi, it's Paul from Derivan. And I just want to introduce you to three new ranges of paints that we've got and that have recently hit your stores. Now, they're our watercolours, our acrylics and our oils. And all of the ranges across all three have 24 colours and the 24 colours are consistent across the three ranges. The other thing that's cool to note is that the actual colours of the tubes are on the outside of them. So these little swatches on the tubes are swatches of the actual paint. So today I just want to take you through what types of brushes we use, what sort of surfaces we use, how do we clean the stuff up, what do we do to create paintings with these three different products. So let's start by using watercolour. So if we think of watercolours, they're like the most fluid or the most transparent of any of the paints. So traditionally, we use paper. So when we use paper, we're actually staining it with the watercolour. So being a very fluid product, we actually use the soft brush. So just get a soft brush and some water as our vehicle. And I've got a little dob of watercolour here. And if we drag this, you'll see that with just a little bit of water, we can drag that out and see how that gradually reduces the tone as it comes out. So from here, it's very dark, coming out to thin. But can you see here across the black line, it's still quite transparent. So then with our dirty brush, we wash up with water. Now that's going to take about you know, an hour or two to dry. It's just wet water on paper with an ink stain into it. So it's staining the paper. So one or two hours is the drying time and the cleanup is in water. So just recovering. So for our watercolours, we use watercolours and we work on paper. We clean our brushes in water and we use just the water to get that tint lighter. So the other cool thing about um, watercolours is that when we leave them on our palette and they've gone hard, so it's completely dry, watercolours are re-wettable. So although we need to wash our brush, we don't need to wash our palette. If we dip this back into the water and we wet that puddle of paint, can we see that that's still fluid again? So because it has gum arabic in it. Now what that does is that means that once it dries and has gone off, it's re-wettable. So we can pick up any of those colours and we can move them again. So watercolours, we use paper, we use a soft brush, we use water to tint it down or to dry it, and we can leave it on our palette because it's re-wettable. We clean it up in water. Now, don't forget the colours on the outside of the tube are actual pieces of the paint. So this is paint from the tube. So you're not going to get any colour changes from a colour card to the actual paint that's in there. So if we move then to our acrylic paints. So acrylic paints, we can work either on paper or we can work on canvas. Okay. So for acrylics, we're working on paper or we're working on canvas. And we're going to use water as our vehicle. All right. So first of all, let's try it on the paper. Not too much water. So unlike watercolour, acrylic is an opaque type of paint. So <clears throat> let's use a harder brush because it's a harder medium. So acrylic, it's about the consistency of, say, or margarine or something like that. So when we work into it, we want a brush that's not so soft that it's going to not hold the paint. And see if we drag this paint across, it's going to drag across this line and it's going to be quite opaque and we've lost that black mark. So um, if we want to, on paper, we can run this out with water because we're, we're also staining the paper to a degree. However, if we're working on canvas, which we'll have a go in a minute, we need to make sure that when we reduce the colour, we're reducing it with white paint. So, on paper, just think, we're staining the paper and it's nice and loose. With a canvas, canvas is a more solid ground, so we're going to need more solid paint. So, again, with a stiffer brush, stiffer paint, we drag it out, we bring it across the line, and this time, to reduce the colour, 
we're adding white paint. So can we see here how when we gently add white paint here, we can softly then blend. And can you see how we've still got the opportunity to move paint in and out of there? Alright? So we can gently move that. Which we can't do when it's on the paper because being on paper, the paper absorbs the water out of the paint. So it's not going to react the same way. So we use it quite thickly, but we can still see we've got a gradation from this dark blue through to a light, but we've added the white to get that. Okay? So that's going to take... So if we've got it on paper and it's thinner, the drying time's going to be, you know, roughly an hour or two. Um, if we've got it on canvas and we've painted quite thick like that, obviously it's going to take a, a little bit longer, but generally speaking, still only a couple of hours. So, I've just got a bit of paint on my finger, I'll get rid of that. And we get rid of that by washing up in water. So, wash up for acrylics is with water. We use a stiffish sort of brush, one that's going to be enough body in it to move that paint around. And again, <clears throat> We can work on either paper or canvas. And remember, as with the watercolours, the acrylics have the actual paint that's in the tube on the label. So again, if people are going up to decide what sort of colours, they can be guaranteed that this colour is what's in the tube. So let's move on to the next one and have a little chat about the oil colours. So oils, again... Oils are traditionally used on just canvas, okay? So remember, first, just recapping, we had watercolour was on paper, acrylic was on paper or canvas, and now we move to oils, which are just on canvas, okay? Now, oil colour, it's about the consistency of, say, mm, toothpaste or something of that. It's a bit stiffer than the acrylic, um, so we need a brush that's going to hold and deliver that paint accordingly. So if we use a stiffer brush for the oil paint and we just grab it here and similarly to what we did with the acrylic, we drag it across this line and you'll note it's much thicker. See, I can be much bolder with that. It's not going to move because the general paint itself is so much heavier. So then if we add white to it, we can slowly reduce that colour. So can you see how this is being softened? And again, it's on canvas. So if we think back, again, watercolour on paper, acrylic on paper or canvas, and oil on canvas. We've reduced the tone of the watercolour just using water, all right? Because Water is the vehicle for the acrylic, uh, for the watercolour, sorry. Watercolour is also the vehicle for the acrylic, but we can use it in pure paint and we do reduce it by adding white. So, the trick is, this now for the clean-up with the oils is terps. So this needs to be really for a tertiary school-age child or for an adult. So we clean up in terps, unlike the other two. The other thing is, with the drying time, so with an oil, the drying time on this is going to be roughly about a week, perhaps a little longer, perhaps shorter, but it's a bit like, for instance, if you were to place a small amount of olive oil on your kitchen bench, it would eventually dry, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So similarly, it's going to depend on how thick that paint is, how hot the day is, and how humid it is. So it will take time, and it's just for those that are a little less impatient than others. So just recapping there, if we first think of the surfaces we can use for each of them. So if we want to work on paper, we can use the watercolours or the acrylics. If we want to work on canvas, we can use the oils or the acrylic. Now, the watercolours are quite transparent, so we use very soft brushes. The stiffer the paint gets, the stiffer the brush we use. So think of it for logic. If it's a thicker or heavier body type paint, we use a thicker or heavier body type brush. We use water to reduce the colour in a watercolour. That's why it's called watercolour. 
and we use white paint to reduce the colours in acrylic or oil. And the drying time of the watercolour and the acrylic is similar because they're both using water as the vehicle and that's a couple of hours remember and the drying time of the oils is about a week. So we clean up the watercolour and the acrylic with water and we clean up the oils with terps. Remember all of the labels are hand coloured in each of the ranges and all of the ranges have the same colours across them. There's 24 colours and they're identical across the watercolours, the acrylics and the oils. I hope that's been of some help to you and answered some of those simple questions that lots of your customers walk in the door and ask. Thanks.